Peace and blessings, brothers and sisters. Today I come to you with glad tidings. I am a Nabayan. He who brings upon you glad tidings, bringing you a great spiritual message from the Most High, from the Supreme, from the Divine. I come to you from a transcendental state, from a spiritual plane and a reality that many have not traversed. I come to you bestowing upon you the ability to have an engagement with the Holy Quran. I come bringing and giving a little bit of Iman, a little bit of Taqwa, which is the stitching of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, preparing you for the eternal homes, the universal religion with the provision of the prophets to all mankind and land has given us righteousness which is indeed the most supreme quality mentality spirituality physicality it is the most supreme estate mentally spiritually and physically economically the supreme or the supremacy of righteousness does not reside in pigment color alone in race alone in language alone in nationhood alone the true power of spirit and soul, the true power of the martyr, of the saints, of the avatar, of the incarnation, of the master, resides within the will of Allah. We must avoid the poison of the shaitans, of the prejudice, of the races, of the ignorant, the idol worshippers, of the confused. Of those trapped within the physical plane of existence, the lowest vibrations of ether, of aroma, of sense of Allah. We must be careful of the polaric religious spirituality, of the tug and pull of the soul and the spirit. Heed the call and avoid and escape the conflict of interest within ourselves, within within the soul, within the body, the temple of Allah. This is truly a spiritual battle, a universal battle, one fought within all dimensions of reality, compartmentalized within all the faculties of the reality of our lives. We must be a pure witness, an authentic witness, and bear witness to the truth revealed by the Mashiachim, the incarnations, the avatars, the descending and ascending vessels and masters. This is an engagement with the book of lights, the true book of splendor, the holy matrimony with the Quran, as in the night of Ramadan, takbir, Allahu Akbar, Allahu Akbar, Allahu Akbar. This is the most supreme high God, Allah, our universal creator, who has sent the holy book of lights. The Silent Quran, which is the written Quran passed down by generation through generation in different languages, races, and nationalities. The holy oral Quran, which is Ali ibn Abi Talib. The Amir al Mu'munin, the speaking Quran, the holy Allah in the flesh, the word of Allah in the flesh. Ali is the holy Quranic letters. Born in the Holy Kaaba, the house of Allah, built by Eshma Abraham, the patriarch. He is like Yeshua HaMashiach, chosen, picked from a handful of people over the generations, just like Judaism in the mystical, holy, Kabbalistic doctrine of transcendentalism, a transmigration of the Supreme Soul, of the written and oral Torah, of the different dimensions and universes. We also have this supreme and divine revelation bestowed upon us. A supreme and divine messianic bloodline, the 12 Imams, bringing upon us, bringing upon all of us, the Mahdi, the progeny of the Prophet, the ascending lights and the descending vessels over generation of generation. This is the secrets and the supernal arcana of knowledge and the science of the Mashiachim. The Gilgulim, the Sarakim, the righteous incarnations of the Messiah, the Supreme Soul, bringing us 
the everlasting truth and liberation of life. On the following days, I will be making a series of lectures explaining this doctrine, explaining the supreme and holy doctrine that permeates and persists and exists within the faculties of all of our lives, of all of our souls, of all of our languages, of all of our nationalities, of all of our beliefs. This is truly primordial before time itself recorded in the books of Allah here on earth. In the series following lectures, I will be describing the different levels of the soul the different saints who came to liberate us from our confusion, from our spiritual poverty, which is the cause of physical, mental, and emotional and economic poverty. In a series of lectures, I will be explaining how to escape true poverty and gain everlasting wealth, life, in the hereafter, in the heavens, as it shall be for us here on earth first, before we ascend into our everlasting homes and palaces bestowed upon us by Allah. With that being said, I would like to say salam alaikum to all my brothers and sisters. <laughs> जैसा कोई नहीं